Hello, virtual learners. Today's read aloud story is called Bats at the Beach. This book was written and illustrated by Brian Lies. Sun slips down and all is still, and soon we can't tell sky from hill. Now from barn and cave and rafter, bats pour out with shrieks of laughter. The rising moon can grow no fatter as sky lights up with gleeful chatter. Quick, call out, tell all you can reach. The moon is just perfect for bats at the beach. Soon we've got our buckets, trowels, banjos, blankets, books, and towels. Strapped on backs and under wings. Have we forgotten any things? Launching out into the breeze, we sail above the darkened trees. Flying fast to wet our feet, where land and foamy ocean meet. Take a look at the way that they carry all of their things to the beach. At last we hear the deep bass thump, as waves on seashore crash and bump. Now the shoreline spreads below, we pull wings in, and down we go. How delicious, oh how sweet, to feel warm sand beneath our feet. Quick, set up, spread blankets on sand. We want to get going when fun is at hand. We hurry down to test the ocean. Don't forget the moon tan lotion. What's the first thing we should do? So many games before night's through. Like playing with the stuff we find, which others might have left behind. Burying friends from chin to knee, who were scratchy where no sand should be. Making friends from other places, with different foods and different faces. Or sailing to terrific heights, taking turns at being kites. Little bats dig their sand caves deep as old bats lie in the moon asleep. There's really no more thrilling ride than surfing on a summer tide or sailing in the wingboat races with salty spree sea spray in our faces. Now it's munch time. What's to eat? Baskets grown with yummy treats. Beetles, ants, and milkweed bugs. Crickets, moths, and pickled slugs. Damselflies or salted skeeters. No room here for picky eaters. Bug mallows toast on slender sticks while cousins do their ocean tricks. And later on, though stomachs hurt, we'll try the snack bar for dessert. Quick, don't miss it. The old bats are singing the bat songs that they learned when they first were first winging. Music rolls on, but no more games. As embers pop within the flames, little ones climb onto leathery lap. Determined to rest, but not to nap. Then east sky purples, sun is coming. A last few notes of banjo strumming. Bring our beach night to an end, so say farewell to newfound friends. Pack our things, shake the sand out, give the noisy gulls a handout. Quick, let's go, let's fly away. We've got to be home before it's day. Flutter homeward, drained and weary. Small bats doze off, tired and teary. Daybirds start to chirp and peep. Now back to crack and crevice creep. We sigh and snuggle close together to dream about the moony weather. Shh! Now sleep. The moon's out of reach. The night was just perfect for bats at the beach. 
Now in this book, I had a lot of connections. Have you ever been to the beach before? There were some things that were very much the same with the bats going to the beach as when I go to the beach. I love to put my toes in the water. It's not the ocean. I usually go to the lake, Lake Michigan. I also love to have snacks and to meet new people and to be around a campfire. But there were some things that were very, very different about when bats go to the beach. The number one thing is that real bats are no nocturnal. That means that they sleep all day and awake all, are awake all night. So bats at the beach, they were at the beach at a much different time than I go to the beach. When I go to the beach, I want it to be a beautiful sunny day. But bats wanted what to be up? The moon. Also, when I go to the beach, I have suntan lotion. When they went to the beach, they needed moon tan lotion. How about the snacks that they were eating? I love to have snacks at the beach. That's one of my favorite parts about going to the beach. Um, but the snacks that they ate were much, much different than any snacks that I would eat. So um, how about when they were talking about uh, damselflies or salted skeeters? Well, I know that real bats eat bugs, so that makes sense, but that is not something that I would eat when I was at the beach. Or, this was the big one, how about bug mallows? Oh, I love to roast marshmallows, but bug mallows? Ooh. So sometimes when I'm reading a story, I'll have some connections to it, but sometimes there will be things that will be just a little bit different. So think about a connection that you have to bats at the beach. Have you ever been to the beach? What did you like to do when you were at the beach? Was that the same or different than what the bats did? Thanks for listening to my story.